Greetings from sunny Florida. Today I'll be demonstrating how I varnish my paintings. I have probably over 25 that need varnishing. They've all cured for over a month, so they're ready to be protected. I'll set up the camera and get started. So I use Wanda Toes, T-O-W-E-S, her technique of varnishing. I discovered her technique on YouTube two years ago, and I find it to be very efficient and uh, very easy to do. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate for you today. So basically it's using half part Liquitex varnish and half part distilled water. I just put the water in this bottle for convenience. I have my own water distiller because I've been drinking distilled water for over 40 years now. I, I find um, I don't like the, the taste of the chemicals in tap water and feel that it's probably hopefully healthier to drink the distilled water. I use it in my coffee and for drinking it's plain water. So I have these little two ounce cups. I'm going to fill it. This is high gloss varnish. You can get Liquitex high gloss, Liquitex gloss, satin, and matte. I think the next time I get varnish it's going to be the gloss, not the high gloss. Now this is a distilled water. I should mention, you probably don't want to shake the varnish, the bottle of varnish, because you might get too many bubbles. So it's best just to tilt it gently back and forth if you want to mix it. So I'm going to mix the water and the varnish gently in this cup. And that's what I'm going to use. And I keep a dust cloth on hand to dust my um, canvas is off before I varnish them and I have two soft cloths here. Let me move this out of the way. So you can use any soft cloth that's lint free. Uh, an old t-shirt, this is a, a eyeglass cleaner cloth, it's very soft and what I do is I use a lint roller to take off any lint. I have two cats. There's bound to be hair flying around. You can see all the lint coming off this one. I use the black cloth for varnishing uh, darker paintings because sometimes the paint can bleed a little bit and come off on, a, on the cloth. So um, I use the white one for paintings that have white paint like this. And I wouldn't want any black or dark paint to contaminate my white paintings when I'm varnishing. I just wanted to show you before I start a couple of my resin pieces to show you the difference and then I'll, I'll demonstrate, I'll show, show you the end result of the, of the varnished pieces. But th these are um, vinyl records that I had resined and you can see that there's a, like a gl glass finish to them. So the, the varnish won't be quite as glossy but that's fine because I, I usually don't resin canvases because the resin is heavy and it tends to the the canvas tends to sag in the middle sometimes even with supports underneath so I just find it a pain to resin canvases so I reserve resin for uh, pieces that have a hard surface like vinyl records wood pieces I have a lot of wood rounds and 
tables that I've made. And then also ceramic tiles for coasters. I resin those. Okay, so I'm going to put my gloves on. The varnish dries within about 15 minutes. It dries quickly. So by the time I do all 25 paintings, they're ready for the second coat. And normally I, I do only two or three coats. Some people do a lot more because they, they like the real gloss finish. I find that sometimes two coats is enough and um, the, the purpose of varnishing is to um, protect the painting from dust and grime, um, from UV rays, and then I find that the varnish brings out the colors more because sometimes on certain paintings where you use Floetrol it dries matte and the varnish brings back to life the colors and makes them look richer and more vivid. So for the first coat, I generously apply a puddle, then wipe, wipe it on. So this is the wipe on method. I go in both directions, make sure I cover the entire surface, and I also make sure that I do the sides. These are just traditional profile canvases, not the deep ones. Then what I do is I hold it to the light and go in one direction to make sure there are no streaks. And it tends to dry quickly, so you have to work quickly, otherwise you can get smudges. So that's it for the first coat. I'll we'll do this one. Why should... I actually dusted it off before so it'll be fine. And when you do a second coat, the, um, you don't have to pour, pour it on if, if your cloth is saturated. It's usually saturated by that point, and you can just use the cloth as is, or dip it in the varnish if you need a little more liquid. But the first coat should have a good, generous amount. I'm going to go in this direction since that's the direction of the pattern. Hopefully I'm in frame here. So you can see what I'm doing. Alright, so that's for that one. So I'll continue and I'll put the video on fast forward and be back soon. If you are enjoying this video, please like and subscribe below.
So these have received a couple of coats and I don't know if you can pick it up on the video but um, it really brings out the metallics on this one. Nice and shiny. It brings out the various colors. You can see how glossy it looks. And this one looks like it did when it was wet, so the, the colors are a lot more vivid and richer. It's a nice sheen to it. So as I mentioned before, all these paintings are on my website and are available for sale. So let me know if you're interested. And hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe below.